Hey you guys, it's Bright tonight. I wanted to jump on and share some updated thoughts on James Charles. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I'm sure some of you have already heard that Morphe dropped James Charles's code. That was a code that he had had for the last few years. You'd co use code James for 10% off your order at Morphe. He would plug it all the time. He had a very great relationship with Morphe Cosmetics. If you guys don't know, I don't care for Morphe. I never have. I love affordable makeup brands, obviously, but Morphe was never something that appealed to me. I know that one of the things that got them sort of off the ground were their oversized eyeshadow palettes. And I've never been the type to buy large eyeshadow palettes. I usually like uh, six pan palettes or quads. That's just how I roll. I prefer uh, single eyeshadows, in fact, over palettes, but that's just my personal preference. But that is what got Morphe off the ground. They would have those massive eyeshadow palettes for a really cheap price. Um, you know, they would private label them and they were able to sell them for an insane discount. And that's kind of what got them popular with a lot of influencers. They started working with Jaclyn Hill, James Charles, Laura Lee, Manny and MUA. They would all have codes so that they would make a little bit on the back end and then they would also be able to give their subscribers a 10% off code to use at checkout. But someone discovered, I think that it was Truth Sleuth or it might've been Nick Snyder. I don't know which one, but I'll try to confirm and put it on the screen so that the correct person gets credit. Someone tried to use code James yesterday at checkout and the code was no longer active. So I don't know if Morphe decided to do this yesterday or if it was the day before and it wasn't discovered until yesterday. And while I commend Morphe for getting rid of James's code, I also have some questions. So um, A, why now? These accusations have been out for weeks and James acknowledged them days ago I can't remember how many days ago his video came out, but I think that it's been at least a week. So I feel like they are late to actually acknowledge this and get rid of his code, but obviously brands are never as quick as we want them to be. There might have had, there might have been um, conversations going on on the back end. How do we do this? I don't know, but either way, Code James no longer works at Morphe. I I commend them for doing that. I think that it's a small step in the right direction. However, um, they are still selling James's eyeshadow palette, his uh, Morphe collab. So if you're going to get rid of his code, why not pull all of his products from the Morphe website as well? I feel like it should have been a simultaneous... Um, a simultaneous exit of working with James Charles because if he's still selling his palette he's obviously still gonna be making money from that even though at this point I don't think many people are gonna be buying it I just feel like it would have been a better impact if both of them could have happened at once instead of just the code you know not working where is the statement from Morphe denouncing his behavior and announcing this is, you know, why the code isn't going to work anymore. We do not approve of what James has admitted to, um, you know, with these allegations. And we're pulling his code. We no longer want to be associated with him. So I do wonder about that. It sort of seems like this little quiet thing that they did just because they were getting a lot of heat from the beauty community and customers as a whole but i guess a little effort is better than no effort at all so his code no longer works and i really wonder what's next what's going to be next because for all of this to come out and james acknowledging the accusations and admitting to at least two of them, two of the interactions. I think the survivor count is up to 16 now. 
I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but I think that it's up to 16, which is so sad, but also insane at the same time. So what's going to be next? Why isn't YouTube demonetizing his channel? What about other brands that he has codes with? When are they going to pull, you know, their um, code for him to collect money on the back end? What is next? And I realized that a lot of these things cannot move at a fast pace. I also believe that YouTube can move very quickly on things that they want to move quickly. So if this was a priority for them to make a statement and show people, we no longer support James Charles because of his actions, they could make that happen. Let's be honest. I know a lot of people have also expressed a lot of you know, same with me. I, I really hope that the justice system can carry this out with, you know, holding James accountable or responsible for his actions. The, the second half of that, though, is we don't know if his survivors want to come forward. And nobody can force them to come forward. Nobody can pressure them to. This is their story, and they have to tell it when they are ready to tell it. So as much as I really want I really want to see James held responsible, it's also not on us as the public or as the viewers to say the survivors better come forward. I really hope that they do, but if they don't, there are still many other steps that should be taking place in the meantime. First and foremost, it should definitely be YouTube demonetizing his channel. In my opinion, he shouldn't be able to be making any money off TikTok. These are platforms that are generating him tons and tons of money. He's also using the same, you know, internet as a dating pool to be inappropriate with people that are under the age of 18. And at the end of the day, I really, Peter Mon made a really fantastic video. I'll link it down below. He went through and he was looking at some of the influencers that are still following James as of yesterday. And there are still a lot of influencers that follow him on Instagram. Manny Mue, Laura Lee. Um, I'll, I'll list some of the other ones because I can't even think off the top of my head. Um... So, Patrick Starr, why are, the, why are these influencers continuing to co-sign his behavior? Because for me, if I follow someone on Instagram, that means I agree with their behavior, whatever that is. And this is not a secret with James. It's not like something that is an old wives' tale that someone just made up. These are actual serious allegations that he has acknowledged that he did. So why are influencers and brands still supporting him on Instagram? That is the least that you can do. That is step one. Unfollow the person on social media and on YouTube, and then let's try to talk to the brands to actually have them pull their contracts with James, pull their support from James. Like, the shit has got to start hitting the fan because I will say if James Charles gets away with this and just takes a six or seven month break and comes back and wants to collab with TikTokers and do all this dumb shit that he's done on his channel, there will be so many people who would just feel beyond what frustration is. To see a young, wealthy, white man get away with what he's gotten away with, all while sitting in his million dollar home in LA, if this was, you know, Tommy Smith from, you know, down the street who did this, I've already mentioned this, he would be sitting in jail right now, not in his mansion in Calabasas, kicking his feet up and... Just hoping that it all goes by. So I'd like to see more brands, you know, um, 
pulling their support. I'd like to see more influencers standing up against this. There are not enough people talking about what's going on with James Charles right now, period. So those are my updated thoughts as of right now. I, you know, commend Morphe for getting rid of his code, but I'm the type of person who is sitting here saying, what's next? Who, who's next? Who's going to make the next step to vocalize the absolute outrage and disgust of who James Charles is? So we'll be watching for now. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.